So I wanted to share some um, pest control methods that I've researched and I found and that I will be implementing in my garden soon, probably this weekend, just because I'm noticing now that the garden's growing that there's a lot more going on. So the first thing, obviously, mosquitoes. Mosquitoes is a problem down in South Florida, so we wanna make sure that um, we do what we can. I mean, I don't know how, um, how we can prevent it other than using this, but um, there are plants that you can plant around your home, um, within your garden, that can help repel mosquitoes. And those plants are um, catnip, um, marigolds, lavender, rosemary, basil, peppermint, lemon balm. So all those. So conclusion is that you can use these not only as um, mosquito repellents but in your home once you are harvesting them or whatever like the rosemary and the basil and pest i want to talk about are slugs i actually found a shell um empty today in my garden which means that little slug is looking for a bigger shell and it could be possibly eating up my leaves in the middle of the night so i definitely drink coffee and I have the K-cups and what I do is I empty out the K-cups. Um, I use the filter uh, and I, I use that in my compost because you, can, you um, can use those in your compost. And something else that I do is I empty out the coffee and I use it as um, a slug repellent around my plants. Well, that's what I'm going to be doing. I've been doing it and I'm going to uh, do it again um, this week. So if anyone has friends like mine that um, complain about your fly situation in your backyard, you know who you are. Um, I definitely researched what else I can do to repel these little suckers. And it's not gonna completely repel them, but you will see less than the amount that you usually see when you're sitting out in the backyard and that's basically a 50 50 um, percent of water and this liquid called pine glow or you can use pine soul whichever you want I'm gonna actually put a link um, of the liquid in my description um, and that way you guys can just click the link and go straight to it and order it if you have a fly problem at the um, spray bottle at the Dollar Tree and you can also um, label it make sure that you label what is in there so you're not spraying half your house with that thing and I mean it does it's gonna smell good because it's just water and pine gold, but you if you don't like that smell for the indoors then you want to know what you're spraying I forgot to mention that some other things you can do for slugs is um, they don't really like beer um, actually beer can kill them so you can put a small cup um, bury it in your garden with a little bit of beer it will attract it attracts um, the slugs and then they drink it and they basically don't survive that um, something else that I've spoken about before is the eggshells blending them to to complete um, powder and that powder you put around just like you would the coffee grains and um, since their bodies are so soft and, and sensitive at the bottom, um, it can repel them. They, they just won't come back because it's not comfortable for them to slush around in uh, the material. Something else that you can use to repel is neem oil. And I've seen this in several posts on Pinterest, like what, what it is and what it can do. And um, I'm gonna put a link to neem oil in the description as well. And if you want to purchase it for your garden, whether it's indoor or outdoor, you can. And basically, it can be used to get rid of the plant, the leaf-eating pests. So aphids, which I've showed you before in my lemon tree, um, mites, and beetles. So if you have this problem where you see your, your leaves like I do, and I'm seeing little bites uh, off of it, um, you can use this oil. You can mix it with water, spray it on as well. It creates like this glossy and it has, I'm not gonna get into the details of what it has, but just know that um, it has some sort of substance. Cinnamon is also something that I've discussed in the past. 
and I'm actually gonna retouch up on the cinnamon in my garden because I'm seeing a lot of um, ants and basically cinnamon repels the ants you just dust it around the garden and it also helps with flying bugs so if you have white flies or um, regular flies or any or mosquitoes it also helps with that and you can get a small bottle of cinnamon at the Dollar Tree um, for just a dollar so it's not that expensive to be able to get some sort of repellent for your garden the last thing I want to touch on is um, a repellent soap that I actually use and I have it already mixed and whenever I want to spray it on I just um, shake it up a little bit to get um, everything in there mixed and you can make all different types of it depending on what you're trying to do and it's the insect repellent soap and that's basically if you have a quart of water you just add one tablespoon of Dawn um, and there's a lot of um, technicalities as to why you're using liquid soap and what the soap has that is going to help your garden and if you want to know those details I can share them you just let you know just comment and I'll and I'll share what exactly it is that it has so that you understand but just know that a quart of water you get one tablespoon of soap and you can add cayenne pepper red pepper garlic cider vinegar cooking oil um, all sorts of things to it depending on what you want to repel and I'm sorry I keep touching my nose to end this post I just want to say I'm so happy to see some of you inspired by my stories Kaylee I can't wait to see your indoor garden Danielle I know that you're gonna be moving some plants um, around um, and I just can't wait to see what you guys have going and how you guys are growing Chanel I know you started your own Denise I saw I saw that you have yours too I hope that they're growing with all this rain that we're getting uh, and there's some so many more that I've seen start um, herb gardens and I just hope that my little info just helps a little bit in yours.